Hi, Dave Jack here, Superintendent of Fokker County Schools with another edition of uh, Three Great Things. Um, I wanted to highlight some uh, really interesting things quickly that um, sort of the unconventional approach to three great things based on our current situation. But first I want to mention, thing I want to mention is our communication scorecard. And our communication scorecard is something our PIO uh, uh, puts together and it sort of outlines and, and shares data relative to uh, how we're communicating and how those different communication outlets are, are uh, reaching people and to what extent. Uh, for example, during the month of August, uh, we had two newsletters that went out during the month of August and those two newsletters reached 31,467 people or families. Uh, and the, but the total number of views on August 25th alone was 17,503. That's remarkable. And, and granted, we're in a different time and, and folks are really eager to get information, but uh, the, it just shows it's a good newsletter and it's, it contains lots of good information and it's reaching a lot of people. But I also wanted to mention two other things. One, our podcast. So we've, we did our 30th podcast in August and it was uh, teachers discussing virtual learning. And there were 581 downloads of that podcast, which smashed our previous record. And um, that's, that's very exciting because uh, the podcasts are really, they're honed and, and they're, they're uh, scheduled and designed to um, tackle subjects and provide information that are, are timely and, and are, are, are really necessary at the moment. And, and 581 downloads is really, really great. And the third thing I wanted to mention is just the reach in August from social media in general, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. And, and the reach was for Facebook 14,706, Twitter 9,427, um, Instagram impressions was 1,617. And uh, the video that we produced on synchronous versus asynchronous virtual learning at 2,321 views. So um, kudos to our uh, public information office staff, which is a person, a staff of one, uh, putting this together, it's really great. Uh, also wanted to talk a little bit and just quickly about FRESH and I wanted to point out one thing. So FRESH, you're probably familiar with the FRESH program by now, Falkyrie Reaches for Excellence in School Health. And they produced this pamphlet recently and shared it with me. And I was thinking to myself, what a tough, Tough, tough year for Fresh. I mean, one of Fresh's goals is to get into schools during instructional time and you know teach kids and teach teachers how to and, uh, uh, put uh, activity and exercise into uh, lessons and how to uh, teach kids to eat better and 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 share uh, train uh, cafeteria staff to produce healthier food, et cetera, et cetera. And those things are still uh, those trainings, et cetera, are still taking place. But I wanted to just point out one thing that really got my attention. It says um, there were 225 volunteers who donated 5,314 hours of their time in the coordination and distribution of, drum roll, 253,641 meals to our families. And a heartfelt thank you to the fresh staff and the volunteers that have helped out and our, uh, our cafeteria nutrition workers uh, Dave Graham, April Plummer, I uh, know I'm missing some folks, but all those folks who coordinated and worked so hard to get meals to our families. And um, 250,000 meals is really, really remarkable. And I'm not even sure that includes the grab and go meals that we provide to the school system, but that's, that's the fresh meals only. So thank you very much for that. And what an awesome resource for our families. And last but not least, maybe that one of the more creative things, um, I received some correspondence from teachers about these handy dandy um, uh, laptop cameras uh, to be that students can use or teachers can use uh, that essentially take a picture, a snapshot in real time of, of you know, whatever on, is on a student's laptop or a teacher's laptop. Kind of a neat little thing. And one of our teachers, Kathleen Beachboard, said, you know what, don't buy those. I can make those for you with uh, our 3D printer. And I thought, wow, that is extremely creative and extremely unselfish and generous of Miss Beachboard, who is one of our rock star teachers at Taylor Middle School. So she is currently, for teachers who want them, currently 
making these uh, cameras, and I think we'll probably have a picture of one up here while I'm talking, hopefully, uh, but we can make them for free with 3D printers. So it's our 3D printers in action and, uh, and, and that, for things that can be used as resources for our kids and our family. So some really great stuff going on. And again, hats off to everyone. Uh, tough time. And, uh, but I, I, my feeling based on what I've read and what I hear is we're improving every day and the quality of the instructional, virtual instructional we're providing. So uh, thanks to all who are involved in that. And I hope everyone has a great rest of the week and weekend. Thank you.